Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest observatory. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirement is 10 crafting. For the items needed are 3 regular planks, 1 bronze bar, and a molten glass. For the recommended items, as always, weight reducing armor, and this time 2 stamina potions should be enough, and then also some food to pass poisonous spiders, as well as a combat 42 guard. For the teleports, none really, just one after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is north of Castle Wars and south of the ZMI altar. Here we'll find a quest sign and a observatory. Let's talk to the observatory professor and select option 1, 2 and then 1. Next, after the conversation is over, let's talk to him three times to give him the three different items. Next, talk to him again. Yeah, give him the bronze bar. Next, talk to him again. Give him the molten glass. After this conversation is over, let's talk to the, let's talk to the assistant. Next, let's go east and go to the dungeon sign. In the ruins just east of the dungeon sign, you'll find a red dot. Take the super anti-poison and let's hop worlds for a moment. Just to be safe. And let's pick up another dose. Next, let's go to the dungeon and climb down the staircase. Yes, proceed regardless. Next, let's go south and then go southeast. Follow this path until the end. Here at the end you will find a chest. Open it and inside there should be a kitchen key. Hopefully. If it isn't in this chest then go to the next one just east. And try that one. If it isn't in that chest, then have fun running around this entire dungeon, searching every single chest in every end of the corridor until you found your kitchen key. But most likely it will be in the most southeastern one. Next, once you've returned to the staircase, let's take the northeastern path and follow this one. When the path splits, take the southern one, it doesn't really matter. And here we'll find a small room in the southwestern corner with a sleeping guard. Prod it and then lure it north. Around this little column or stick out wall, lure him north of it. Once he's north, run back south to the gate, click on it and you should be able to enter. Next, in the southwestern corner you'll find some wobbling goblin stove. Inspect it and you'll find the missing lens mold. Once you have this, let's open the kitchen gate and let's return to the staircase located east and let's return to the professor. Alright, back at the professor's house, laboratory, let's talk to him and he will give us back the molten glass. Once we have that back, let's use the lens mold on it. And then once we've made the lens, let's talk to him again. And now he will want us to meet at the end of the dungeon. So, once again, let's return to the dungeon, 
and let's return to the goblin kitchen. My assert, stupid fucking message. What do I need to be afraid of? Level 2 goblins? Are you serious? There isn't even a message when you leave Lumbridge. What the fuck? Once you're back here at the goblin kitchen, let's follow this road or path. Just keep following this path until the path splits. And then we just need to take the western path. Turn west until the path splits again. Take the most southern one. Keep going south. Until you reach at a quite big ending. Here you'll find another staircase. Let's climb up and this will trigger a cutscene. If you were very unlucky then you've been here before because here is then your uh, kitchen key. Alright, once the cutscene is over, let's go to the southeastern corner and climb up the stairs. Let's talk to the professor. Select the first option and he will tell us to view through the telescope. Let's click on it and then try to remember what you see. The constellation of stars that you see is random for everyone. So mine has like two shining eyes above and then like sprinkles three sprinkles on each cheek kind of just try to remember how your star constellation looks like and then go back downstairs here at each of the directions you will find a star chart look at it and try to find which one you had he's not aquarius so which one was mine nope ah is it libra Mine was Libra. Next, let's go upstairs and talk to the professor to claim our reward. But be warned, there are four constellations which give combat experience. All the other constellations just give you a random item as a reward. After you've set the correct constellation to the professor, congratulations, you've completed observatory quest. You are awarded with two quest points and 2250 crafting experience, as well as a payment depending on which constellation. Mine was Libra, which are three law runes. What you've also unlocked is the access to the grapple rocks outside of the observatory for when you want to do your medium clue scrolls here. The second reward is that you can talk to the observatory assistant after the quest is completed and he will tell both of the real names of each person. The assistant's name is Patrick and the professor's name is Mambo Dumaruma. And then the final reward is located north of the observatory 
and west of the Gnome Battlefield, Khazar Battlefield, here at the ZMI altar you'll find the Spirit of Scorpius, and he has two uses. The first one is that he will provide you with the Unholy Symbol Mold. And the second use that he has is that he can bless your unpowered symbol into a unholy symbol by simply talking to him and selecting option 1. And you now have an unholy symbol. And these are all the rewards of Observator Request. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.